agua finita cantando por el palmar Como el río, carretero, no te salgas del camino real How you doing guys? Once again, uh, my bro, mi hermano Arno Serafin has, uh, has chosen me once again to give him a, a little review on his next endeavor, his next cigar that he's bringing out. It's going to be out maybe by next year, um, but this is going to be a Habano, a true Habano with an Ecuador Habano wrapper. Look at that beautiful wrapper. The filling is going to be Dominican and Nicaraguan. And uh, I feel honored that once again he's given me the opportunity to, to try this almost finished product. Uh, like I said, he's working on it quite a bit, so it's going to take a, a little bit for it to be done. But this one, when it hits the market, is going to be amazing. Um, the name of it is Flor de Tampa. Uh, so if you guys are out there and you're looking for a really good Habano, I've tried the other ones before this one, so that's why I know this one is going to be really good. Uh, hopefully and the ones that are going to come age later they have to be better but we want to try this one it's a midway through the aging process um, so yeah a true habano ecuador habano wrapper and it's going to have a dominican and uh, a nicaraguan filling i'm going to pair it up with the cruzan a romanejo uh, cruzan a premium extrañejo cruzan like i said with the uh, habano i always pair them up with the romanejo this is my favorite drink so I'm gonna give it a try and, and see. And, and before we before I start, I know that a lot of a lot of people have been asking like, why do I have these? They always show up in my video. Well, I says a proud dad of Air Force Academy. Um, my son is finishing his freshman year in the Air Force Academy right now, so I'm extremely proud. And he's he's in the squadron. His squadron is Viking Nine. So these are gonna show up for quite a while until he switches squadron. But yeah, so that's why they're there. Um, so, hey, let's get to it. Um, beautiful cigar. Like I've said, I've tried the other ones, the other prototypes, and this one is almost there. We are gonna see. Like I said, it's gonna age a little bit more, but right now, it, it should be almost the finished product. So, You get a little bit of that, of that spiciness at the beginning, like almost every cigar. But this one, hopefully the same as the other ones, once it hits one eighth of the cigar, like a little, it burns a little bit, it smooths out. There's no more spicy flavor and it continues to be a true Havana with a great cigar with a great flavor. And today I have a little, a little salsa in the background. Um, uh, great draw, great draw, good amount of smoke. Flavor is really good. Flavor is good, even though it's a little bit spicy. Now it's still it's still good. Um, I'm not too much into the spiciness of cigar. I really don't like the spicy cigar. So he knows that I like smooth cigars. That it, the, the, the flavor in a Habano, I'm looking for a. This is a medium body Habano, so I'm looking for a nice, almost intense flavor of the Habano, the tobacco. The blend is an exclusive blend, um, and it has flavor from different parts of Nicaraguan Dominican Republic. That's what I can tell you now. So that's why the cigar is, is tasting, uh, it's gonna taste really good. It's already tasting really good. Look at that wrapper. It's a beautiful Ecuador. Habano, a true Ecuador Habano wrapper, aged, 
Look at that, you can see, nice and beautiful wrapper. So pretty much right now, there's no peppery flavor already. It's burnt just a little bit. There is no, no spicy flavor to it right now. Now, you can taste the, the, the flavor of the, of the tobacco. A nice medium body cigar, what a Habana should be. Great smoke, it's starting to be a great smoke. Right now, like I said, the spicy flavor, the peppery flavor already disappeared, and now we're just enjoying a true Habano cigar. Great draw, um, not tight, it's just the right tightness for the cigar. There's a great draw. I made a V cut to it, that's all. I just made a V cut, and it's a great draw. And the flavor's great. It's, it's good, it's good. It's good right now. I can only imagine how good it's gonna be if it ages for another three months. Um, but like I said, it's a quality Habano. The Torpedo, quality Habano, quality wrapper. Grade A Ecuador Habano wrapper. Salud. It pairs really well. Um, I've H, H rum with an Habano for me is a favorite pairing. Um, this Cruzan uh, Extra Premium H is a really good. Oh yeah, now the flavor is changing. Now the flavor is changing a bit. You get in that nice cacao flavor. It's a nice cacao, like uh, like dark, not too much dark chocolate, but nice cacao flavor to it. Almost, I say like 116, 1.8, 116th of the cigar. Yes. Now we're getting the full flavor of the of the of the Habano. Oh, it's really good. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna keep on. I'm gonna keep on listening to music, and relaxing today. It's a beautiful afternoon, if you can see. Beautiful afternoon. I'm back here in my backyard, uh, enjoying this cigar. I, I like to enjoy a cigar, and I like to smoke it fast. So that's why I take my time when I have time to sit down and and uh, and really appreciate a good product. Uh, once again, thank you, Arnold, uh, for giving me this opportunity once again to be to be one of the testers of almost a final product. Um, I feel really honored. Um, if you guys don't know, you gotta try the, the, the Don Ramon series, 1942. Um, a great Connecticut, smooth, creamy cigar that already is out in the market. Um, oh, this one is good. All right, so I've been smoking this for like 20 minutes, and I'm telling you, it's, hey bro, esta es, this is the one. Uh, the, the, the Ecuador Habano wrapper gives him that sweet, 
almost sweet cacao chocolate taste it has a good medium body taste um, not spicy or too peppery just the right amount um, the wrapper does an amazing job I guess it's the Ecuador Habana wrapper um, grade A that uh, that gives it that particular taste of a really good Habano it's it's been burning and smoking incredibly the flavor is really good after that I don't know one eighth maybe one less than that the little bit peppery or spicy at the beginning then after that it's smooth it has a great uh, a great flavor a great Habano flavor a medium body cigar um, it pairs really good with the uh, Romanejo mm. this is it's just really good and I think um, the more it ages this is, will be a great cigar to age because the more it ages the better it's gonna get um, it's it's really good like I said um, Habano smokers are gonna love this cigar medium body great taste you got a great tobacco taste um, a little bit of cacao, a little bit of sweetness, like a, like a little bit of sweetness of the wrapper. Um, you taste that and you don't get that spicy aftertaste, um, which are my favorite kind of cigar. So, hey Arno, yo creo que este es otro éxito. I think this is another success in, 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 in your endeavors to making cigars. Um, quality cigar, quality wrapper quality filling um, and you get a quality cigar and like I said it's taken quite a while to get this I know you're making trying to come out with the best product possible and you're giving a few people the opportunity to review them to taste them and I feel honored once again um, that I got to try this one I, I, I really feel really good muchas gracias I wish you the best of luck for this one this you know I'm in a Havana flavor, so I'm a little bit biased, the Havana flavor. This cigar is, is will be my to-go cigar, man. This is really good. The pairing with Ron Añejo is perfect. So, guys out there, when this comes out, um, Flor de Tampa, <laughs> um, that's going to be the name of this, Flor de Tampa. When this comes out, if you like Habano, a medium body Habano with a great taste, you got to get this one. And get yourself some Romanejo. Salud and guys keep on smoking. Keep on smoking cigars. Gracias.